my opinion is that un rwa should be expanded to other countries for example south sudan eritrea ukraine etc because they also have some form of refugees that is they are facing crisis during the war so pehla ye second UNRWA as an institution should take a stern measure against the perpetrator of the violence those who have attacked israel during in october 7th and thirdly there should be a joint negotiation with regarding to the status of UNRWA and the western country and global south should maintain uh, adequate funding to that because ultimately it is only the common people that are suffering us strike huthi target in yemen after attack on oil tanker un centcom the middle eastern command how the drones can be used for drive against illegal mining which we can see rajasthan uses drone rajasthan tenancy act this is chota nagpur tenancy act har jagah ke tenancy act hote to conserve and preserve the tribal land and their rights so that the outsider cannot displace the locals from their own land khatdari title leta hai aur kaise unko rights cancellation kiya gaya where illegal mining was taking place so dead trend rajasthan mein 81 varieties of minerals in this land in its land which is 40 57 commercially exported basically isme usi khatdari land wo thi jo unko allot ki gayi thi uska naam tha khatdari और वो एस और एस कास्ट को दी गई थी उसे एस वाले एस को ट्रांसफर कर सकते थे वो इवन उसमें गैर खातेदारी का कंसेप्ट है अब उनको वापस लिया जा रहा है जहाँ पे अवैध माइनिंग हो रही उसके लिए ड्रोन मैपिंग हैंड ओवर द ज्ञान वापिस साइट बी एच पी आज दॉस्क पैनल तो इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग इज नॉट इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग वॉट ए एस एज यूजिंग टेक्नोलॉजी कौन सा तो यहाँ पर ग्राउंड पेनिट्रेटिंग रडार टेक्नोलॉजी इज बिंग यूज कार्बन टेक्नोलॉजी यूज नहीं है सी फोर्टी कार्बन यूज नहीं हो रहा है इट इज क्योंकि कार्बन रेडियो 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 कार्बन टेक्नोलॉजी तभी यूज होता है जब देर इज अर्गेनिक मटेरियल डी के डी के ऑफ द सी फोर्टी लेकिन सी फोर्टी सॉरी लेकिन यहां पर जो है इट इज अ ग्राउंड पेनेटरिंग डटा टेक्नोलॉजी टू एसेस द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द रॉक्स द आइडल मूर्ति एंड ऑल्सो द Age of the rocks. So, is it there? Places of worship that 1991 pro provision. It was passed in 1991. It said that it guarantees the preservation of the religious character that existed before, as of 1947. Why? Because after 1947, India became a republic, democratic country. Whereas before that, India was under the colonial control, and before that, it was a feudal. किंग्स एंड क्वींस जो मुगल्स हो गए बाकी सब तो फिर डेमोक्रेटिक कंट्री बाद में बनना है इसलिए वहीं तक जो जैसा एग्जिस्ट किया कैरेक्टर वैसे ही होना चाहिए इसलिए कट ऑफ डेट भी दिया गया अगस्त नाइनटीन फोर्टी सेवन गवर्नमेंट प्लान एक्रेडिटेशन सिस्टम ओवरऑल नेशनल असेसमेंट एंड अक्रेडिटेशन काउंसिल एक तरह से इंट्रोड्यूस कर रहे बाइनरी Credit giving and maturity based graded labels, higher education institute के लिए ताकि उनका brand value बढ़े हम्म three point five one four तभी इनको मिलेगा institute of national excellence अगर four के ऊपर जाएगा तो institute institution of global excellence for multidisciplinary research and education the new platform वन नेशन वन डेटा प्लेटफॉर्म जैसे वन नेशन वन टैक्स वन नेशन वन यूरिया ब्रांड वन नेशन वन राशन वैसी वन नेशन वन डेटा प्लेटफॉर्म वेर द डेटा विल बी कलेक्टेड फ्रॉम द ईच यूनिवर्सिटी एंड दे विल बी गिवन क्रेडिट ओवर द टाइम और ग्रेडिंग किया जाएगा इंस्टीट्यूशन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ इंपॉर्टेंस नेशनल इंपॉर्टेंस ग्लोबल इंपॉर्टेंस इंस्टीट्यूशन विल बी इंस्टीट्यूट हैव द प्रोविजन टू अप्लाई विद इन नेक्स्ट फोर मंथ तो हम लोग लॉन्ग टर्म में एमओ यू साइन करने में आसानी होगा विद द फॉरेन कंट्रीज देर विल बी इंक्रीज ऑफ फॉरेन टीचर्स फॉरेन प्रोफेसर ऑन द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट बेसिस इन इंडिया एंड फॉरेन स्टूडेंट कैन आल्सो टेक पार्टिसिपेट इन द कंट्री 
बिकॉज दे विल चेक द रैंकिंग ऑफ द इंस्टीट्यूशन कौन से रैंकिंग ज्यादा है कौन कम है एंड देर इज अ हेल्थी कॉम्पिटिशन बिटवीन द इंस्टीट्यूशन ऑल्सो रिगार्डिंग द रैंकिंग रेड्यूसिंग स्टेट टू म्यूनिसपैलिटीज तो वॉट आर द इशूज बिटवीन द सेंटर एंड स्टेट तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फर्स्ट इज अजिस्लेटिव इशू यूज ऑफ ऑर्डिनेंस पावर बाय द प्रेसिडेंट एंड यूज ऑफ कॉन्क्रेंट लिस्ट टू बाईपास द स्टेट लिस्ट क्योंकि मोस्टली द इन द कॉन्क्रेंट लिस्ट स्टेट सेंटर्स लॉ ओवर राइट द स्टेट लॉ सेंटर हैव द पावर मोर पावर रिगार्डिंग द कॉन्क्रेट लिस्ट दैट इज वाई सेंड इन मेनी ऑफ द केसेस कॉन्क्रेंट लिस्ट हैज बीन यूज फॉर इन एक्टिंग लॉज इन द पार्लियामेंट second use of emergency presidential rule ordinance power of article 123 of indian constitution governor's must be power 231 ordinance making power governor issue between governor governor's role like vice uh, nominating of the vice chancellor in the state reserve, reserving of the bill for the president and signing of the bill within a stipulated time period then regarding net bill land bill jo kerala mein net bill ha tamil nadu mein waise further regarding the devolution of the funds by the finance commission usme population ke hisab se bhi issue hota hai then kerala have been denied fund because state has not opened new school to jo grant hote hai do type ka grant hota hai that is कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल ग्रांट जो दिया जाता है फाइनेंस फाइनेंस कमीशन द्वारा एक होता है कि ग्रांट्स इन एड उसमें भी सेंटर और स्टेट के बीच में डिफरेंसेस होते हैं फर्दर फोर्टीन फाइनेंस कमीशन हैड रेड्यूस द स्टेट शेयर फोर्टी वन परसेंट किया गया था और सेस एंड सर चार्जेस है कलेक्शन और टैक्सेस बाय द सेंटर जीएसटी लॉज में भी ऐसा किया गया है कि सेंटर के पास वीटो पावर वन बाय थर्ड मेजोरिटी इन स्टेट और दूसरा कि डीआरसी रिलीफ में भी देर इज ए डिस्क्रिमिनेशन बिटवीन द पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज दैट इज दैट आर इन पावर इन सेंटर एंड स्टेट एंड इन रिस्पेक्ट टू द डिस्पोजल ऑफ द फंड्स हालांकि इंडिया जो है वो फेडरल कैरेक्टर यूनिटरी स्पिरिट है लेकिन ओवर द ये देखा है कि देर इज वन नेशन वन टैक्स वन नेशन वन राशन कार्ड वन नेशन वन डेट तो सेंट्रलाइजेशन टेंडेंसी देखा जाए इंडिया तो एक ओवरऑल बोल सकते हैं ओके टेकिंग अप साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी एंड देन इंटरनल सिक्योरिटी सो व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट इजरो दी डेवलपमेंट जो करंट पोजीशन है अचीवमेंट्स वी आर सीइंग डिफरेंट यू नो सक्सेसफुल मिशंस वी आर सीइंग तो we are seeing the role of different individuals behind it when we talk about leadership so the current chairman of isro is as somnath sir so he says ki leadership it is not just about individuals rather it is about ability to transform the people along with you so that is called uh, actually you can say this to be a compassionate leadership or a collective and cooperative leadership so he credits the vision of different predecessors like vikram sara bhai satish dhawan apj abdul kalam and uh, madhavan nair so he said ki back in the history jab isro uh, you know it was established so they played critical role like agar hum 1960s ki baat karte hain to us time period pe ek space rahi thi between russia and usa and india at that point of time it wasn't a space power so then we saw the contributions of vikram sara bhai so he had great dreams for the future and uh, initially he had important pioneering roles and after his death then we uh, saw the leadership of satish dhawan so he played multiple roles in terms of changing the organization making it more structured and he also has important contributions in the satellite launch vehicle program of india and along with him we also see the role of abdul kalam sir so he his uniqueness it lay in identifying the right people for the right job so that is also we can say one of the 
important features of a good leader identifying right people for the right job and he also had a unique habit of ensuring ki only people from different states they were put together in teams so this also reflects university no, sorry unity in diversity different people were put together made a team and then they work together so this reflects the culture of quality assurance uh, quality assurance processes they were put in and that's how we saw that isro has been so successful and uh, he also said ki jo current chairman hai what he agar hum baat karte hain ki how he is playing an important role in terms of a leader so he says ki even though i am chairman youngsters can question me so iske through bhi great ideas can be generated through such discussions so you can talk about the role of youth demographic dividend and the spirit of team is what drives the organization becomes an integral part of the success story so yahan pe pura leadership ke bare mein baat ho rahi hai then move to the next article okay this is covered illegal mining using drone technology kaziranga rhinos ki baat karte hain poaching so sites is an important convention and kaziranga national park and it is a tiger reserve also it is there in the state of assam and the brahmaputra river passes through it and this is an important unesco world heritage site also so one horned rhinos we find in the state of assam and these are the largest of the species of rhinos and oshik you can mention the iuc in state if you remember one horned rhinos ke liye i think they are endangered or vulnerable स्ट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्टेट ऑफ मणिपुर तो अरम्बी टेंगोल देवर से हमने उनकी डिफरेंट डिमांड देखी थी उसमें से एक डिमांड ये थी कि एस टी स्टेटस जो है फॉर द कू की जो ट्राइब वो विद्रॉ कर देना चाहिए एंड आई टी एल एफ की अगर हम बात करते हैं तो दिस इज दी ट्राइबल बॉडी द ट्राइबल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो उनकी डिमांड ये है कि जो ट्राइबल एरियाज हैं हिली रीजन हैं जो माइनॉरिटी कम्युनिटी कॉन्स्टिट्यूट करते हैं सो सेंटर को एडमिनिस्टर करना चाहिए एंड नॉट दी स्टेट गवर्नमेंट सो दिस ऑल्सो रिफ्लेक्ट दी डेफिसिट ऑफ ट्रस्ट ऑफ द ट्राइबल कम्युनिटी द बैकवर्ड कम्युनिटी इन दी करंट गवर्नमेंट एंड इफ दे आर डिमांडिंग के डायरेक्टली एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन होना चाहिए सो दे आर सींग वी कैन से कि करंटली ऐसी कौन सी सिचुएशन होती है तो यूनियन टेरिटरीज सी दे आर डायरेक्टली एडमिनिस्ट्रेड बाई दी सेंटर सो उनका बोलना है कि वी कैन नॉट बी अंडर द गवर्नमेंट हु केल्ड एंड डिस्ट्रॉयड आर चर्चेज एंड प्रॉपर्टीज हु सेपरेटेड एस फिजिकली एंड डेमोग्राफिकली एंड ऑल्सो हु टू कैन ओथ अंडर मिलीशिया ग्रुप the arambai tangol to few days back they had the meeting and so this is creating more rift in the state so that's there and we can say that this somehow uh, it somewhere also hurted their uh, the religious sentiments also and the violence that would witness during the ethnic violence in the state of manipur manji okay. ji agar hum tribes wagera ki baat karte hain तो ये कैसे पता लगता है कि माइनॉरिटी है या फिर स्केड्यूल ट्राइब है या मतलब कैसे जैसे पीवीटीज की पीवीटीजी की भी जो हम बात करते हैं तो इन सब केसेस फॉर दैट लाइक जो प्रॉपर डेटा होता है सेंसस कराया जाता है तो थ्रू दैट वी नो एंड माइनॉरिटी की जहां तक बात है तो माइनॉरिटी इंडिया में देयर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ माइनॉरिटीज लिंग्विस्ट एंड रिलीजियस सो ऑन दैट बेसिस व्हेन वी हैव द प्रॉपर डेटा तो दैट कैन बी डिटरमिंड and then uh, agar hum constitution provisions ki baat karte to we are having schedule 5 and schedule 6 for that and plus uh, agar st status diya jata hai to that that can be identified i think uske liye there must be some uh, you know identity card or something like that ya koi certificate hoga zarur so that's how it must be functioning okay can move to the next one minimal radioactive discharge so india mein jitne bhi nuclear power stations hain wahan pe abhi ek study karai gayi 
कि कितना रेडियो एक्टिव डिस्चार्ज हो रहा है तो इट फाइंड्स कि बहुत मिनिमल और नेग्लिजिबल रेडियो एक्टिव डिस्चार्जेस हो रहे हैं विच रिफ्लेक्ट दी सेफ्टी एंड हाउ सेफली वी आर कैरिंग आउट दी ऑपरेशन इन दीज न्यूक्लियर पावर प्लांट्स एंड इन इम्पॉर्टेंट इंस्टीट्यूशनल स्टेक होल्डर इज बार्क विच इज लोकेटेड इन मुंबई द भाबा ऑटोमिक रिसर्च सेंटर सो दे ऑल्सो एड इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल इन दिस स्टडी so uh, they we did the testing for the radioactive discharge from the nuclear plants and the resultant potential environmental impact here also them so even that impact has been found to be minimal and this reflects ki jo future potential hai that is significant for reinforcing india's commitment even to the advancing our nuclear power program and also when we talk about the panch amrit targets so as the names are mentioned so we can look for their exact locations like tarapur Uh, atomic power station is there madras in kegri kegri i think it is in karnataka we have one in rajasthan then narora and kakrapar so humne uh, yahan pe test kiya for the gaseous waste liquid waste aur uh, is case mein we see the solid waste also to so, gaseous waste mein for example we should know uh, ki kon kon se radioactive elements hote hain to so, argon which is a noble gas argon 41 then रेडियो आयोडाइन इज देयर कोबाल्ट सिक्सटी स्ट्रॉनशियम सीजियम और अगर हम लिक्विड डिस्चार्ज की बात करते हैं तो अगेन उसमें ट्राइटियम स्ट्रॉनशियम सीजियम ऑल ऑफ दीज आर देयर कोबाल्ट सिक्सटी इज ऑल्सो पार्ट ऑफ इट एंड इन केस ऑफ रिवर्स ऑल्सो द टेस्टिंग विज डन सो देर वी टेस्टेड फॉर द प्रेजेंस ऑफ सीजियम स्ट्रॉनशियम सो ये यहाँ पे एक फेयर आइडिया हमें होना चाहिए ओके वी कैन मूव टू द नेक्स्ट आर्टिकल and talk about the retinal imaging so in the science sessions we talked about ki uh, eyes ki jo humne baat kari to retina is the location where the inverted image is formed but yahan pe this article is talking about ki retinal imaging se hame pata lag sakta of the health conditions of a person specifically chronic conditions so jo thickness of retina hai that can help us in determining this thing so for example the risk of range of neuropsychiatric and cardiometabolic diseases we can get to know through the thickness of retina so the thinner the layers of this photoreceptor jahan pe as i mentioned inverted images formed so it is correlated with poorer heart and lung function so more the for a healthier condition the retina should be more thick okay can move to the next one so talking about this disease the western equinin encephalitis outbreak in argentina so whenever we talk about encephalitis so it is related to the inflammation of the brain so here we saw the international health regulations national focal point they carried out the study so this we the first human case was reported so in this we saw that uh, this is a viral infection and we see sudden onset of fever and neurological features so because it is related to brain inflammation and we can say this is one of the zoological zoonotic diseases uh, it spreads in horses and this time uh, we have seen that it has been recorded in humans also so it is a mosquito borne infection and uh, the uh, we see that the mosquito A single stranded RNA genome we see that that gets transmitted is responsible for the spread. Primary mode of transmission of the uh, infection to the humans is through mosquitoes, which acts like a vector. So what can be done? Preventive measures can be taken. So we always talk about when we talk about zoonotic diseases. We talk about one health approach. Collectively and comprehensively dealing with both the human health and the animal health and environment. So that is one health approach. enhance surveillance and detection can help in prevention and then environmental modifications we talk about the lifestyle initiative so that can play an important role here so environmental modifications vector control and vaccinations can help so this we see ki vaccines are also pre um, vaccine is also present to prevent this disease and this is uh, we can say hence it, it is a preventable disease and these are the important details about it Okay, you can take the next one. Next one is related to the malaria vaccine. So, for the first time, we talk about which country uh, 
has uh, introduced the uh, entire vaccination program for the malaria vaccine. So that is Cameroon, which is uh, part of the African continent. And the name of the vaccine is RTS S malaria vaccine. And Gavi is important. Gavi, the global uh, vaccine alliance. So it has the aim to provide equal access to new drugs and underused vaccines for children living in the world's poorest countries. So this also uh, reflects the equitable sharing of benefits. And then malaria burden ke agaram baat karte to malaria life threatening disease hai which is caused by parasite. Ye humne kali cover kiya hai science mein a day before yesterday that malaria is caused by uh, parasites and it is infected by the female anopheles mosquito. So preventable bhi hai and it is curable also. So when we talk about India, so we are also uh, having this challenge of high malaria burden. Target is ki we are uh, aiming to eliminate it by 2030. So World Malaria Report 2023, it is released by WHO. And in case of India in 2022, 66% malaria cases in the uh, they were reported in the Southeast Asian region. So 66% is a huge number. Malaria free country by 2027 and elimination by 2030. So we can remember this target. Malaria free and elimination, these are two different things. So UNICEF is having a current program rollout of the vaccination. So it is being uh, manufactured by the GSK company, which is a British company. Hai. So the parasite name of the parasite is the Plasmodium palkiparum. Challenges kya hai? climate change is an emerging challenge. Increased humidity leads to more spread. And we need to enhance the sensitivity of this malaria pathogen the vector so climate change conditions are enhancing its sensitivity it can lead to more you can say um, gene mutations also which we saw is uh, was also one of the great challenges in case of dealing with COVID-19 so we need to double down on the ways how we can prevent the the even the the growth of these mosquitoes because they are, act like uh, as a vac vector and for better tracking the illnesses to make prevention treatment more available so affordability of the treatment and even the vaccines can be looked into. So we can move to the next. POEM3. So ISRO's space platform is named POEM3. So this is this article is talking about a responsible space power as far as what steps India is taking in terms of reducing the space debris. So for this, we are seeing that when India's POM3 mission tha, we saw that the objectives and targets thi, wo humne complete kar liye, that has been achieved. And so recently we put the ExpoSat satellite. So we are planning that the POM3 jo mission tha, usko we can uh, you know, destroy that responsibly and it, it, it will not also create the space debris. So here to cut down on space debris, ISRO has been taking steps like Jobhi orbit, just be orbit me satellites and missions placed him and their purpose has been fulfilled. So we are trying to unko lower orbits me place karke. They enter the Earth's atmosphere and by burning it can get destroyed. So that's how we are doing. And India has targeted setting up space station also in the low Earth orbit by 2035. So as a responsible space power, this is what we are aiming towards when it comes to reduction of space debris. Now, this question we discussed in detail during the PTQ session also. Solid state batteries and liquid state batteries. So lithium ion batteries is a liquid state battery and solid state batteries can baat karte to it is the next generation. It is more advanced and more better. So how it is better in talking about that? So firstly, electric vehicles ke liye solid state batteries can be revolutionary in terms of it can help in doubling the range of the vehicle and also the charging time hai, wo bhi drastically reduce ho sakta hai to we can say only 10 minutes. But challenge is that they are right now they are pricier and in terms of raw materials also again domestic availability nahi hai. and apart from this so what kind of chemical are used in the solid state batteries so it uses sulfide solid electrolyte 
so the electrolyte is in solid state in case of lithium ion batteries the it is in liquid state and sulfide solid electrolytes ki characteristics ki baat kare to it is soft and adhesive material and so solid state battery is zyada stable bhi hai and because they are resistant to changes in temperature and can robustly endure high temperature and high voltage also so jab hum baat karte climate change ki also as a challenge so usko bhi uh, it is also resilient towards that so high temperature mein bhi it is like uh, not reacting in uh, any another, another kind of way so long term sustainability of even the electric vehicles and the entire industry can be done in a better manner through the solid state batteries so uh, apart from this electric vehicles ki jo baat karte to we are having the fame scheme that is a faster option and mobility of the electric vehicles manufacturing the electric vehicles and hybrid vehicles so that's all we can just uh, remember ki nasa's perseverance mission is for the mars mission hmm. so it's not uh, sufficient for the, the finding from the ground penetrating radar observation uska hai ki previous orbital imagery and other data are leading scientists to theorize that portion of the mars were once covered in water and may have had microbial life to perseverance nasa's Perseverance has gathered data confirming the existence of ancient lake sediment deposited by water that was that once filled a giant basin on Mars. Zero zero crater, zero zero crater. Put it. So consider the the data that we have got. It was not lifeless. It was once warm, warm, wet, and habitable. Okay. When carbon emission, we talk about it. तो वी अंडरस्टिमेट द एमिशन फ्रॉम द ऑयल सैंड ऑयल तो बात ही करते हैं हमेशा ऑयल एनर्जी नेचुरल गैस एक्सेट्रा लेकिन ऑयल सैंड से भी कार्बन एमिशन होता है ट्रेडिशनल मेथड ऑफ एस्टिमेटिंग दिस पॉल्यूशन कैन सिविली अंडरस्टिमेट द एमिशन तो इसमें बोले का कार्बन ऑर्गेनिक कार्बन एमिशन फ्रॉम द ऑयल सैंड एक्सीडेड द इंडस्ट्री रिपोर्टेड वैल्यूज बाई नाइनटीन टाइम्स टू टाइम्स सरफेस माइनिंग एंड एक्सट्रैक्शन फ्रॉम द डीपर इन सी टू डिपोजिट ऑफ ब्यूटी मैन वर्स्टी फॉर दिन इन्वायरमेंट वे डिस्कस इनवेजिव ऑफ द नॉन नेटिव स्पीसीज कैन लीड टू इको सिस्टम शिफ्ट नॉन नेटिव स्पीसीज तो इन्वेजिव स्पीसीज का बात होते हैं यहाँ पर लैंटा कैरानोना लिखा हुआ है या फिर बाकी स्पीसीज भी है दे एफेक्ट द नेटिव स्पीसीज रिसाइडिंग डैट रीजन वेन इन्वेजिव एंड Pushed out the native land, the trees were left vulnerable to overgrazing by animals, like elephant, who browsed and broke trees at five to seven times the rate in areas with invasive land. इसमें हमने गंगूस या फिर इसका भी एग्जांपल देखा था अभी कुछ दिनों पहले कि वो भी इनवेजिव टर्न कर तो that's all for today. Thank you everyone. We will take up next set of important. articles for discussion of 29th january